Welcome back to Velvet Roads. I am so excited that you're here watching. Thank you for joining. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. Today, I thought it would be a good idea to take you on a little tour of our very small front yard and to show you what it looks like now. And then I'm going to also piece in some clips of when we first started back, I think in January, trying to like get ready for the season. I'll, I'll piece in some clips um, so that you can see what we started with. I've got a few more tweaks that I need to make for our cold weather crops it just kind of started getting spring-like here in the Pacific Northwest where I'm at. I believe I am zone 8B. Um, our last expected frost date in my area was April 18th, so that was this last week. And so now I'm excited to kind of start putting out some other things. Um, so if you wanna see what our front yard garden looks like, stay tuned. <laughs> This is what we are working with currently. We have a someday walkway right there. And then we've got this small area right here. We had a rhododendron bush right there or tree that we cut down and then this was a pre-existing bed that was here and there are four rose bushes back there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this space yet. I think I'm gonna put some sunflowers here. Over here we have a hydrangea bush. We've got some bulbs, flowers. I'm not really quite sure what kind they are. Um, and then I'm not sure what kind of tree this is, but it's looking really sad. So we might take that out and I might put a fruit tree or something there. But, so this is a five by eight bed. And then we've got, these are the beds that we put in and they are, we've got six three by eight beds So far, I've got, I don't know if you can see, I've got some little onions sprouting up around the edges. See? Right there. Under here, I've got a bunch of onions and some cabbage, some radishes in there. I've got some watermelon radishes that I put. We've got white onions down there, which I will thin out, and red onions down here. Oh man, these are looking really good. These are some broccolis. I've got some radishes throughout here in the kind of the empty spots. We've got some kohlrabi. Um, and then we've got some cabbage. These have been in here for probably two weeks, two or three weeks actually. These cabbages look like they're doing good. And my little radishes. And we've got two of these. Haven't planted anything in those ones yet. This is what I'm really excited for. I have eight 
potato bags already. And they actually look like they're doing pretty good. You can see them popping up over here. These ones are popping up too. And then these are my cauliflower that look like they're doing okay. I'm going to be setting up some cover, a row cover on this today. It's part of my job. They look okay. And then I don't have anything planted in that one yet. Back here, I have some herbs. Let's go check them out. Got rosemary. Sage. Peppermint. Oregano back there. And then we've got raspberries right here and right here that look like they're doing pretty good so this is what we're working on This is what I'm doing as a temporary solution. I'm putting in some pavers, um, kind of sloppily, and then I'm gonna plant, put some mulch and stuff down until we can pave that. <laughs> So here's the progress that we've made today. I've got my new hoops up here and I've got all my broccoli um, set out. I've also got the pavers down. I just need to get some more mulch. progress today got some of the pavers done I got covers put up got some transplants or some seeds transplanted <laughs> one of my kids must have tried to plant a flower <laughs> 